Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh from Nightmare on Woodsboro Lake. Uh, thank you for tuning in once again. Uh, today we are going to do a, well, spoiler-ridden review of the 2003 classic, Wrong Turn. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, if you don't want spoilers, don't watch this. I mean, the movie's been out forever, but I know, you know, there's a lot of people out there that haven't seen a lot of these classics. So, uh, if you're not wanting spoilers, I suggest turning this off now. Um, so, the movie Wrong Turn, like I said, came out in 2003. Um, and it follows these group of kids who um, end up getting stranded out in West Virginia, along with another gentleman who ends up stranded as well, um, due to like an incident on the road with like a spike strip. And so now... They're backpacking and trying to figure out, you know, if there's anyone out there to help them. They're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, and they end up running into these uh, <laughs> backwoods um, inbred folk um, who I'm sure went through many, many generations of inbred um, and incestual tendencies. If we're going to be frank. Um, <clears throat> but there are these cannibals that are out there that are, you know, not the prettiest to look at, of course, being West Virginia. No offense. <laughs> Don't worry. I feel like most states have those, those like, real, real backwoods people. So not targeting any place in general. Um, but... They end up, you know, they go looking for hope and they stumble across their cabin um, and have no idea what is in store for them until they see, you know, what's inside this cabin um, as they're like snooping around, trying to find a phone, trying to figure out like a way to get out of the situation. Um, and then one by one, they are picked off by these um, inbred people. Um, but... There's a lot of gory kills in this film, uh, in this franchise, actually. Um, they really go all out when it comes to the gore and the um, carnage candy that you get. Um, whether that's taking an axe through the face in a tree and then the bottom half of the body <laughs> falling down the tree as the top of the head just, like, sits there on the axe. Or, like, you know, oh, man. Um, like, the one girl barbed wire wrapped through her face and like yeah they 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 don't spare an expense on these films and they don't um leave you wondering because i know some movies like you know kills off screen or it's just kind of bloody but these guys go all out um sorry if i'm ranting um so yeah they're all they're all getting picked off one by one um, and then we're left to these uh, two final survivors. Um, and they end up, you know, fighting for their lives. Oh, man. And I'm trying not to give a recap of the whole film, but I'm trying to, like, just kind of give, like, a quick review. Um, they end up blowing up this cabin with them in it. You know, they had shot freaking um is her name elijah dusku i think it is she put an arrow through one of them like and um also an axe in one of them as well and like they just kept coming and then he's like crap i only have one bullet left because she's like shoot them and he's like there's only one bullet so i mean he makes good use of the bullet and ends up shooting because the, the cabin's on fire he shoots like this uh, can and it blows up the rest of the, the cabin um 
and, you know, they escape and live to see another day. Um, and <laughs> there's this scene at the end, um, a patrol officer comes out, you know, to what the smoldering remains of this cabin and is sifting through the, the wreckage. And we have one of the inbred fellows is still kicking and he's right behind him. And I swear to God, I don't know what they were thinking with this scene, but he shines the flashlight onto him. It's the one that had taken the ax. And he's just like, <laughs> which I'm actually going to just play that scene for you guys. Just so you know, I'm not exaggerating. Uh, here's that clip. So, with that, I was like, <laughs> you, had, you had a good movie. Why the hell did you need to throw that in there? You could have just had him, like, kill the officer. Um, but that, that, I don't know if I'd call that a war cry. <laughs> it was really weird. Um, and, I don't know, left me kind of, left me with an unsettling feeling as it, as it closed. But that just shows that there was going to be more sequels uh, following that. Um, left it very open-ended. Um, overall, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's not my go-to. I mean, I have several of them on, on DVD. Um, like in my uh, last video with my Louie and I's collaboration channel, we were talking about physical media. I own lots and lots of physical media, whether that's a lot of VHS tapes and a lot of DVDs, some Blu-rays. I'm very big on that. Um, like with our child, we're definitely going to be showing them a lot of um, VHS tapes um, of some classics and things that we grew up loving, you know, just to expose them to that. Um, it'll be their choice later on if they like that or not, but we'll definitely put it out there for them. Um, which, if you've heard of my other videos... We're a little less than seven weeks away from the due date. Who knows at this point um, what's going to happen. Um, either way, I'm excited. Um, can't wait to meet my baby girl. Um, but yeah, if I was to rank this on my new ranking system, um, you know, I'd, I'd give it a severed limb. It's kind of a little bit middle of the road. I enjoy it. It's fun. Um, you know, it's definitely a lot, not like a lot of other movies. Um, I think it stands out enough, um, but it's not like anything mind blowing. Um, you know, if you haven't checked it out, I know it's on Tubi. Um, I own it. I watched it on Tubi. I didn't take the time to find my DVD for it. Um, while I was folding laundry today <laughs> and I figured, you know, what the heck? Um, uh, you don't see it talked about a lot. Um, you know, everybody's doing, like, the newest movies, and don't get me wrong, I love reviewing the ones that just come out, but I also like to give some love to the ones that people don't talk about. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Wrong Turn franchise. Uh, do you like them? Dislike them? Are they middle of the road for you as well? Um... Any favorite kills, characters, um, and if you've seen the new one, which is quite a bit different than the rest of the franchise, I, it really doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the franchise. It's kind of like a like a reboot uh, of the franchise in a whole different direction. Um, and yeah, just your thoughts, uh, what you'd like to see me review next. Um, yeah, that was just my quick little review of uh, Wrong Turn. Um, I, did, I think I did a pretty good job of not giving you guys a like a play-by-play. -play. That's been my biggest feat. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep killing it out there, my friends. And just remember, don't get caught. <laughs>